Hey y'all, Doug with d in the garage. Today I want to talk about air conditioning. Tis the season, uh, you know, it's getting warmer. You're starting to turn your air conditioner on in your vehicle and you might be coming across uh, various issues. One of which, um, maybe you go to turn your AC on and, and it'll only work in the uh, high position. Or maybe two of your speed settings are the same. Uh, maybe the, the blower motor doesn't come on at all. Now, um, what this most likely is, one of these problems, is related to this guy right here. This is your blower motor resistor. What it does is it uses these coils inside to resist the amount of energy, um, electricity that gets to your fan and uh, changes the speed. So when you're on speed one, it's uh, this resistor is providing the most resistance for the uh, electricity to your fan, and as a result, your fan turns the slowest. Now, the way it resists or a byproduct of resisting that energy is that it creates heat. So these things get hot. Uh, they go through heat cycles. You know, you run it, it gets really hot, you let it cool down. Um, and as a result, they, they burn out, they break, um, they go bad. And you can see mine, I just changed today. Uh, it, it was rusty, it was crusty. When I got it out of there, it was no uh, surprise to me that it, it was bad. My problem was, was my uh, AC would only work on four which isn't really great, you know, first thing in the morning you just want a little bit of air, so. I got one of these new, I didn't pull from the junkyard, though you absolutely can, and uh, it was about 20 bucks. All right, now the first thing you're gonna have to do to change this is to figure out where your blower motor is. Uh, it's either under the dash, like mine is here on this uh, Jeep Cherokee XJ, or it's gonna be out in the engine bay like uh, a lot of Fords are. Once you've found it, and I would just Google it. Honestly, every vehicle is different. Google where your blower motor resistor is. Uh, it's always gonna be next to your blower motor because it uses air from the blower motor to cool off those coils inside. Uh, it's usually shaped like this. Uh, you're gonna have two bolts and a little pigtail. You uh, pop the pigtail off, take the two bolts out. It'll look like this when you take it out. And then uh, you put the new one in. Like I said, I bought mine new. It's like 20 bucks. You can get a bit the junkyard if you want to spare, but uh, these things go through, they have a hard life. Uh, they go through a lot of heat cycles and um, that just causes them to wear out and they go. So if you got any questions, by all means, comment down in the squawk boxes. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, a little bit of bonus content here. Before I even had a chance to edit the uh, content from the Cherokee blower motor resistor, my wife's 2006 uh, Jeep Commander uh, blower motor resistor blue as well. So this is an example of a more modern one. It doesn't have those uh, same coils, but it, it serves the same feature. And uh, in hers, the issue was it would sometimes work in various positions. It would always work in four. And the reason for that is four basically bypasses the resistor. It's just straight power. So if you have a bad resistor, four or the, the highest setting will always work. And then hers was intermittently not working in the lower positions. Um, Hers was a little harder to get to than the XJ. It was back behind the um, glove box. It was literally four screws. Pull down a little plastic piece, pull out the actual glove box door, and it's sitting right there. So, uh, yeah, now you get to see what uh, two different types look like, both found in a Jeep just a couple years apart.